to find the integration even in physics also right substitution method like uh, 60 percent of the questions based on the substitution method so remaining maybe uh, direct uh, formulas like previous exercise depending on the direct formulas standard integrations but now coming to some exercise 7.2 onwards so especially this exercise is belongs to substitution method okay so what is the function we can take as t let's i'll explain you all the questions so here nearly totally uh, there are 39 questions are there okay all are very very easy and very very important also even obt also 60 percent of the question based on substitution we have to take the suitable function as t okay fine the first question so there are three methods actually one is uh, method of integration method of three methods are there integration by substitution substitution and next uh, integration integration by parts by parts means integration by parts means yesterday that is nothing but uv rule integral uv rule that is with help of i late okay i late procedure and the third one is partial fractions partial fractions these are the three methods we will discuss in integration so in that uh, this is very important 60 percent of the question based on this so remaining maybe 20 percent of the questions uh, like 15 percent or 10 percent of the question remaining 10 percent are direct uh, substitution right so yeah this method is important so now exercise exercise 7.2 fine in the first question is integrate the function in exercise 1 to 37 right 1 to 37 let's see here so in every question in every question you can try to take the integration as i okay so right so let us take uh, the given function as f of x f of x they have given 2x by 2x by 1 plus x square this is the given function i want to find the integration i want to evaluate this integral value that i want to take f of x dx nothing but integration integral of 2x by 1 plus x square dx this we need to evaluate so let us take let us take this is equation one i'm going to take like uh, this one plus x square as t i want to take one plus x square as t then differentiate on both sides one derivative to zero and uh, two x square is two x into dx left side differentiate with respect to x right side differentiate with respect to t so 2x dx is equal to dt okay what do you observe here in given integrand this 2x dx becomes dt and 1 plus x square becomes t now from 1 from 1 so here let us take 1 plus x square as t so differentiate on both sides you have to write to do these steps and all like what will you write after this differentiate uh, on both sides differentiate on both sides uh, mention that with respect to t with respect to x okay i'm differentiating lhs with respect to x rh with rhs with respect to t so now from one i is equal to, from 1 i is equal to integral what about 2x dx value 2x dx value 
is clearly shall I write dt by what is 1 plus x square m shall I write as t right now what do you observe here it is in the form of 1 by t dt nothing but 1 by x dx since we know that what is the integral formula for 1 by x dx yes log x log mod x plus c yes see it now it is the given function is not in standard form equation one not in standard form but if i take one plus x square as t and if i substitute all the values here we got in standard form it is the form of one by x dx that is log x so i is equal to the answer is log mod t plus c but see here what about the question question in terms of x variable what is the answer we require in terms of x variable or in terms of t variable in terms of x variable so at last you have to replace t value what is t value students t value is clearly 1 plus x square that's it so finally i is equal to the required integral of a given function is log mod 1 plus x square plus c okay log mod 1 plus x square t so this is the required answer so what i would do i'm taking the denominator 1 plus x square st and uh, i told you in yesterday one of one very very important formula what is that formula student how many of you remember yes very important formula what is that formula students anyone f dash of x by f of x into dx is equal to what is equal to what log yeah. mod see students whether you remember other formulas like uh, uh, you may or may not be remember but you should remember this formula this will play very important role especially in object 2 okay so this is very very important formula see here for example take the same question let's take the same question so what is the formula here f dash of x by f of x the function is in denominator it's a derivative in numerator directly the answer is log of the denominator if you see your uh, can you tell me student uh, what is the uh, if i take uh, the denominator as a function what is the derivative of 1 plus x square is it 2x one derivative g of x square is 2x yes or no is it satisfy the formula or not satisfies yes. the formula yes what is the answer directly here itself we can write log 1 plus x square if it is the objective we'll write directly answer okay very important form can you tell me what is the uh, like a secant square x by tan x dx integral answer answer is what answer is what anyone sir it's uh, tan x yes or no see tan x derivative directly secant square the answer is log of denominator log of denominator for example 1 by x by log x is there this answer so it's log uh, modulus log x that's a log of log x modulus simple but uh, they don't give the question like this they'll give like this not one by x they may give the question like this one by x log x one by x log x. this x you should write in numerator like this now you can take log x as t substitution method substitution in the sense your we are using this formula we are using indirectly this formula right every question uh coming to next question uh look at here the second one is log x whole square by x second one how oh, it is easy look at here i is equal to integral uh log x 
whole square by x dx. Now, student, anyone, anyone, okay, there are two different functions are there. One is log x the whole square into 1 by x into dx. Now, easier, let us take this as equation 1. Now, in equation 1, what is the function we can consider as t? Is that log x as t or 1 by x as t? Log yes. x. Log x. See, very simple. Is there log x derivative is 1 by x or 1 by x derivative is log x? Which is correct? Log x derivative is 1 by x. Yes, log x derivative is 1 by x, so that log x is equal to t. So, uh, differentiate on both sides, 1 by x into dx is equal to dt. Log x is 1 by x, again x derivative dx, t derivative dt. Right, from 1 again, from 1, what about left side? i means integral. What is log x here? t nothing but t square into what about this 1 by x dx total value becomes dt so, so t do square we, why yeah. do we equate 1 by x times dx to dt so like uh, i differentiate here i differentiated on both sides what is the log x derivative Kisho? 1 by x yeah yes, i have written 1 by x and uh, what is again? This is the derivative of log. And what is the derivative of x? dx, right? What is the derivative of t? dt. I am not differentiating here with respect to x. With respect to x means we will get only 1 by x. We don't want to write dx. But I am simply differentiating on both sides. Okay, sir. Okay, even you may take. Uh, differentiate with respect to x also because you know that is also 100% right when you differentiate with respect to x look at your students i'll show you uh, log x is equal to t now when i differentiate with respect to x with respect to x your log x is 1 by x is equal to with respect to x t derivative is dt by dx am i right t derivative is dt by dx dx you can cross multiply 1 by x dx is equal to dt or not? Yes, obviously. Okay. Instead of writing 1 by x is equal to dt by dt, I have written directly. Log x is 1 by x, again dx is equal to dt. So now uh, from the equation 1, from the equation 1, it is t square dt. Okay, t square means it is in the form of x square. x square is x cubed by 3 plus c. Nothing but e variable is t cube so t cube by 3 plus c am i right but i told you very clearly the answer should be in terms of x what is t at last you have to replace i is equal to log x whole cube by 3 plus of this is the answer any doubts any doubts i am concerned so the thing is first uh, what is the function you can consider as t? That is very important. Depending on that only you are going to get the answer. In case if you consider here 1 by x as t, you never get the answer. It will be tends to infinite steps, even though you don't get the answer. OK, students? Right. So what happened to d, uh, dt? And, uh, Wait, here. Here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, see, uh, this integral, this dt get cancelled. t square becomes t cube by 3. Clear? Generally, what is the, for example, e power x dx is there. What will you write here, right side? You will write just e power x. Yes? Okay, sir. Is there we are writing any dx? No. Integral dx is cancelled, e power x integral is e power x. That's all. Now, uh, coming to the next, uh, look at here, third one. Third one, for example, third one. 1 by 
x so you can scroll it left sir doubt yeah you can sir doubt sir yes you can ask the general integral of dx will be x only not y yeah x plus a x only so but here we will cancel sir where you yeah. Here we don't have only t. Uh, uh, we don't have only dt here. T square into dt. T square is there. Okay, sir. Okay. So if you have only dt now, get cancel here. It's equal to t plus c. We'll get. But uh, other than one, there is any other function. We'll write like this. Okay. Actually, what? Uh, why we want to take integral dx as x? You get here one dx is the equal to we write explicit because of the reason. Chill. Or in formula, x power zero plus one by zero plus one plus c. Now what is x power zero plus one x plus c? We are getting the answer. Got it? One I have written x power zero like that. Okay, students. So the third one, third one is again i is equal to d x by x plus x log x. Yes, students. All of you today uh, evening five to six or six thirty. I am going to take the class that is objective. Objective integration. All J students. Even neat students also try to attend the classes. Okay, that you know the uh, pattern of uh, board. Okay, all MCQ types are very very important. You can uh, understand more easily all the problem when you attend that uh, uh, OBT classes. Okay, students, especially uh, yeah integral. Same integral. Evening, I'll continue. Objective. Another five, five, five to six or six thirty. Five to six, right? And tomorrow class, I'm going to ask formulas. I'll call to particular students and I'll ask the formulas. Any formula, whatever I have given. Right uh, now, uh, third question is uh, one by. See uh, what is the function you want to consider as t here? Here two uh, different functions are there. Here you, we do one thing. This kind of question. Whenever you having log x and x, uh, dx by any common. In denominator in these two functions, anything is common. X. Ah, oh, right. Shall I write like this? Now look at here. There are two functions. Again, observe here. Okay. Uh, dx by. What is a function we can consider as t here? Whether one plus x is equal to t or x is equal to t? Yes, sir. Anyone, students? Either we can consider. Yes, easier. Uh, two different functions are there. One is one plus log x, another is one by x. Shall we consider one plus log x is equal to t, or x is equal to t, or one by x is equal to t? One plus log x. Exactly. One plus log x is equal to t. This one plus log x becomes the derivative becomes like one derivative zero log x is one by x into T x is equal to d t. Nothing but one by x d x is equal to d t. Clear, students? 
right now from from which equation from 1 from 1 i becomes integral 1 by t into dt am i right student this is 1 plus log x is t 1 by x dx whole value becomes dt now it is in the form of 1 by x dx what is the 1 by x dx formula yes Last t yes See here x derivative is 1 so that log of f of x log of denominator so here t derivative is 1 with respect to t log mod t but answer should be in terms of x what is t at last t derivative plus Sorry. log x t, t value t value t value what is t value here 1 plus log x fine so the answer is log of 1 plus log x let's see that's all clear swings so here itself we can say that the answer actually 1 by x generate uh, 1 by x as 1 by x by 1 plus log x see here with help of the formula the denominator is 1 plus x numerator is 1 by x 1 plus log x derivative is 1 by x it is in the form of f dash f x by f of x the answer is log mod f of x clear students sir yeah uh, why do we write one is uh, dx where at the yeah. beginning yeah no, uh, more up. Yeah. Oh, uh, up the pink highlighted. The uh, this step. one. Yes. Here. See, so I have taken x common here. What is the common in both? Shall I take x common? No, but sir, and the question is given as um, 1 by x plus x log x, and you wrote uh, dx. Yeah. They're given 1 by dx. Am I right? Okay. What is 1 into dx? dx. Clear, Kishore? 1 into dx is dx. x is common. I'm taking x is outside. We got this. Am I right? Yeah. Whenever you take the integral symbol, you must take dx. So 1 into dx is dx. dx by x take common, x into 1 plus log x, right? Next year, uh, I'm going to uh, tell you in all the questions, what is the function we can consider as t? Look at here. In question number 4, you only tell me, student, there are two different functions. One is sine of cos x and sine x. So whether we can consider sine x as t or only cos x as t? Yes? Student. Sine x as t? No. Cos x as t. Cos x as t, right? I look at your fourth one is see uh, I, the sine x is there into sine of cos x is there dx see if you consider sine x as t are you going to get the sine x derivative of sine of cos x sine x derivative just cos x okay sine of cos x there are two different functions okay uh, in that don't consider sine of cos x as t, just cos x as t. So i is equal to, I want to write here, sine of cos x into sine x into dx. Let, shall, let us take one. Shall I write like this? This one is first, the sine x is second function, like this. Clear screen? Now tell me, what is the function we can consider as t? Let this cos x 
is equal to t. What is the cos x derivative? Minus sin x. x derivative dx is equal to dt. But we required only sin x into dx. So sin x dx is equal to minus dt. Is that clear, students? Clear? I am taking cos x, this cos x as t. Then cos x derivative is. Now from 1, from 1, now look at your sign of cos x. Cos x is clearly t. Into uh, what about this sin x dx becomes? Yes, minus dt. Minus you can take it outside, so sin t dt. What is integral sin t amount? Direct it is a standard form. Integral in standard form minus sin t is minus cos t plus c. Sin t is minus cos t minus it minus plus cos t. Let's see. What is T amount finally? T. That's all. Let's see. So this is the required answer. So once again, uh, there are two different functions are there. If we consider sin x as T, sin x derivative is cos x, but it is uh, here we don't have only cos x separately, sin of cos x is there. So, so that we, are, we can consider cos x as t, when you consider cos x as t, sin x dx is equal to minus dt. Just substitute and simplify, finally we will get the answer. Note it down. Students, right? Question number five. You can try. Look at here. Sin of a x plus b to cos of a x plus b. Okay. Is there we can consider sin of a x plus b as t or cos of a x plus b as t? Anyone? Two different functions are there. Yes. Anyone? Yes. Yeah, your wish, your wish, because sine derivative is cos, cos derivative is minus sine. Either you can consider sine of ax plus b as t or else cos of ax plus b as t. So sine x is cos of ax plus b into what is ax plus b derivative of chain rule. Sine derivative is cos of a. Again, ax plus b derivative is a into dx is equal to dt. This question I am giving as homework. So finally, cos of ax plus b into dx is equal to dt by a. So now, this cos of ax plus b into dx is equal to dt by a. So finally, t into dt by a. This 1 by a you can take outside. 1 by a will get. So t dt. t dt nothing but 1 by a t square by 2 plus c. At last, you can replace t by sine of x plus this i am giving as homework you can try to do that and uh, let's do the sixth one sixth one or seventh one eighth one or eight, uh, ninth one all are consist square root square root square root so simple student whenever you having square root this value you can take as t square here also x plus 2 is equal to t square 1 plus 2x square is equal to t square that's all you should be take ax plus b is equal to t square. I'm asking. I'm saying that. Your x plus 2 is equal to t square. 1 plus 2x square is equal to t square. When you take t square, square square root cancel. Square square root cancel. Square square root get cancelled. Here also this value you can take as t square. Square square root get cancelled. Like that, you have to take as t square. Okay. Now, let's do any one of the questions. Let's do the sixth one. One easy, one difficult. Sixth one is i is equal to square root of ax plus b, the given function into dx. When you take integral symbol, don't forget to write dx. Even uh, because I observed this mistake in previous year. Few students simply 
they have written like this ax plus b is there any meaning of this integral no meaning you must write dx then only there is a meaning to find evaluate this integral value without dx you cannot write only integral symbol right okay fine now let us take this is one i want to take ax plus b is equal to t square when you take t square alone square square would cancel now differentiate on both side a into a into x value is 1 plus b is a constant derivative 0 into dx t square is 2t t is dt once again a into x x derivative 1 b is a constant derivative 0 into dx left side right side t square is 2t t derivative dt now a dx is equal to 2t dt but we required only dx dx is equal to 2t dt by a right strings now in place of dx substitute this value and in place of this ax plus b substitute t square in equation one from one from one we are going to get yeah what about this root over t square into what is dx value dx this dx value is 2t dt by a 2t dt by a right here look at here now i want to cancel square square root square square root and uh, is there any constant student anyone any constant is here yes one by a one by r two by a two also a constant here two by a is constant here it is t here it is t t into t t square dt is it okay clear students right since we know that uh, integral x square is x cube by 3 plus c right i want to apply this so 2 by a times of t cube by 3 plus c student can you tell me what is t at last t yes what is t value t is equal to square root of x plus b okay now 2 by a square root of ax plus b all to the power of 3 by 3 plus c. that's it this is the answer oh right this is the answer any doubt students in this question having any doubts you can ask I will consider ax plus b is equal to t square in the same way uh, in this question. What is the function you can consider as t or t square? Under square root, whatever the function is there, that function alone you can consider as t square. So x plus 2 is equal to t square. Here 1 plus 2x square is equal to t square. Here x square plus x plus 1 is equal to t square. See, I am going to do the ninth one now. Time over. So just I'll tell you what is the function we can consider as t within one minute. Okay, students. So C student, try yourself. This x plus 2 is equal to t square, 1 plus 2x square is equal to t square, and here it is x square plus x plus 1 is equal to t square. And here in this question, first you have to write x can be written as root x into root x. One root x you can take common remaining value is root x minus 1 so in this case this root x minus 1 is equal to t here again x plus 4 is equal to t square x plus 4 is equal to t square you can take here here it is x cube minus 1 is equal to you can take as t okay t or t cube your wish because all to the power of 1 by 3 is there if you take this as t cube 3 3 get cancelled you can take x, x cube minus 1 as t cube. Here just 2 plus 3x square. Well, you can take as t. Just to take t. 
if the derivative becomes directly numerator your log x whenever you see the log x log x only t you don't take any other function as t here log x is equal to t you will get the answer here it is uh, this denominator total denominator you can consider as t here 2x plus 3 you can consider as t because you know here e power 2x plus 3 answer will write directly integral integral is e power 2x plus 3 by 2 because what is the x coefficient 2 x coefficient alone you can write in denominator that is the answer but in ncrt we cannot write directly answer so here it is x square you can consider as t x square you can consider as t if you want to note down you can write it uh, aside like uh, the function as t or t square yeah here it is tan inverse x you can consider as t here it is uh, uh, like uh, we can do in two ways here you can write it separately here e power 2x uh, by e power 2x plus 1 uh, and minus 1 by e power 2x plus 1 now in this case e power 2x plus 1 you can consider as t here second one is different this i can explain you here actually e power x whole square we can write e power x is equal to you can consider as tan x okay let's let's i'll explain you this question 19th one here also now uh, here you can consider denominator as t directly this e power 2x plus e power minus 2x you can consider as t here tan square this 2x minus 3 alone you can consider as 3 only 2x minus 3 2x minus 3 is equal to t like that here's just 7 minus 4x you can consider as t here sin inverse is there tan inverse is there cot inverse is there cos inverse is there that inverse function alone you can take as t the tan inverse is there i'm taking tan inverse as t sine inverse is there sine inverse you can take as t okay here uh, you can take 1 minus tan x as t here root x as t and here uh, sine 2x as t and uh, under square root whatever is there t or t square your wish sine 2x is equal to t square here 1 plus sine x is equal to t square here log of sine x is equal to t this log of sin x is equal to t, its the derivative becomes cot x. And here 1 minus cos x is equal to 1, 1 plus, sorry, 1 plus cos x is equal to t. Here, uh, uh, like, uh, you can rationalize here, this we will do. This we can rationalize, 1 minus cot x by uh, 1 minus cot x. After rationalizing, here 1 plus tan x by 1 plus tan x, because minus becomes plus. So here, uh, what about here? Here, log is there, log there. Whenever you're having, I told you very clearly, 1 plus log x is equal to t. Here, I told you very clearly, inverse function is there. That inverse function alone, you can take as t. So tan inverse x power 4 is t. Here, I told you very clearly, whenever you're having log x. So this x plus log x, you can consider as t. OK, clear, students? Uh, like, remaining, these are the function we can consider as t. We will discuss uh, everything uh, in tomorrow classes. That you want to know first what is the function we can consider as t. If you consider proper function as t, you'll get the correct answer. Otherwise, you won't get the correct answer. So, one minute, can you show the function? Yeah, a sure, student. Uh, you can note it down. In just a minute, I'll stop the screen. So, today we're having a class from 5 to 6 or 6.30. Right, students? 